In 2021, former NFL player Brandon Short lost his daughter to gun violence. To carry on her legacy, he created a scholarship fund that helps students overcome loss and trauma and create a better future for themselves. Ahead of his annual fundraiser, Brandon Short joins us in studio to talk more about his mission and how they're expanding to help other young people in the community. Brandon, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for having Thanks me. Thanks for being here. So can you tell us a little bit more about the charity that you created in honor of your daughter? Because there is truly no greater memorial. Yes, yes. As you mentioned, I, I lost my daughter Carly and her unborn child to gun violence in 2021. And it was uh, obviously a, a tragic event. And my wife and I, we wanted to pause it, like to transfer that energy into something positive. I'm currently a member of Penn State's Board of Trustees, and I understand the importance of education and how it lifts people up. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't think of a better way to honor Carly's memory than to provide scholarships for students who were affected by gun violence. Wow. You know, that grief never goes away, but it's finding a way to direct that and to affect positive change. And you're doing just that. You just told us in the commercial break how much you've been able to raise wow. in just the three years that you started this. It's incredible. Yeah, people have been tremendously generous. I mean, the, the outcrying of support, you know, from the Pittsburgh community, New York community, and all, like across the state. Um, like we, this is our third year. We've raised over $900,000. Wow. We even endowed five scholarships at Penn State Greater Allegheny, which is in my hometown of McKeesport. Um, this year, we're going to expand the scholarship to include um, students at University Park as well. And it, it's, it's really all about the kids. I mean, when, like through this, I've built relationships with our, our, our scholars and right. it's been just as cathartic for me as it is right. for them. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I am a proud Penn Stater to have you on we my are. team. You yes, we, we are. About it. <laughs> we bleed blue and white. I am yeah. just, I'm honored to have you on my team, Brandon. Yeah. But I really love how you reach out to the families who have been affected by gun violence because unfortunately there are too many families who know this all too well. Yeah. And how do you think education truly can impact a family like that because I mean the more you know the better I mean I think education is can solve the the world's problems yeah. I mean like most of the world's problems are people don't understand each other right. and they're they're not communicating and they're economic sure. and, and education addresses both of those I mean being open understanding from people different cultures different backgrounds and it lifts your you can lift yourself up you can earn right. a living and it, it, it's the basis for for everything so education is so important and it's under invested uh, across the board through elementary all the way up to through college um, so it, it, it we want to use this foundation to try to help people like pay for their education but the, the foundation also provides some of the mentorship and, and yeah. support that people need when they're dealing with the trauma of gun violence. Oh my God, right. yeah. yeah I really want I want to go back to something you said you said it's been cathartic for you as well yes. through this process I mean you probably heard some pretty powerful stories from oh some God, of yeah. the recipients of the scholarship. Yes yes I mean the the, the recipients are amazing I mean the 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 things that they have had to overcome right. with with so little, some of them with so little like support has mm -hmm. been amazing. And like it, when you deal with a trauma or when you deal with any adversity, right. not just guns, but you're able to overcome that adversity. Like but if because you're able to do that, most likely you're going to excel whenever you get into any field that you're in. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's so important to know and to note that so many people want to further their education, but the economic obstacle is, is I mean right it, it is yeah. not an obstacle yeah. it's a complete roadblock and your scholarship is helping them so yeah. what can people do to kind of get involved with your fundraiser coming up because I know there are a few tickets left yes there are a few tickets to tonight is the the event is at the Omni William I mean t tomorrow is tomorrow the night, event yeah. yep is at the Omni William Penn at, at six o'clock um, you can purchase a ticket at ksbettertomorrow.org um, we have an online auction where we have four tickets to Steelers Ravens sideline passes, four tickets to Giants Eagles sideline passes. We got signed Pat Fryer move, signed Saquon Barkley, wow. signed Micah Parsons, signed Eli Manning. Oh my goodness. We have Penn wow. State, Ohio State, you know, with, with sideline passes. So, you know, go ask, go to ksbettertomorrow.org. You can bid on our online auction or you can make a donation. Cool. That's wonderful. You are making a better tomorrow yep. for so many kids. Yep. Congratulations to you and your wife. Yep. And thank thank you. you. Thank you for taking some time to be with us today. For
for sure. Thank you again. Absolutely. The Carly Short Better Tomorrow Scholarship Fund is tomorrow and it's starting at 6. The event will be held at the Omni Hotel in downtown Pittsburgh. Tickets are still available online. If you're unable to attend, you can also make a donation. We urge you to do so. We'll have a link on our website at kdk.com slash talk Pittsburgh.